everyone, this is Nirupama and welcome to Simplify. Today's video is about oranges or orange juice. We all love our morning glass of orange juice, don't we? And we make sure to pick up the kind that's 100% juice and not made from concentrate. Media and food labels have portrayed orange juice to be a simple natural product as if the oranges have just fallen from the trees into the carton. But is that true? So let's investigate how orange juice is made. After squeezing the juice out of the oranges, the juice is strained and pasteurized, meaning it is treated at high temperatures to kill pathogens and to prevent it from spoilage. Once pasteurized, the juice is transferred to huge vats where it is deaerated, that is, the oxygen from the juice is removed. This is done once again to prevent the juice from spoilage and to extend its shelf life. Once deaerated, the juice just sits in the vats for months without spoiling until it is packaged. During the process of deaeration, though, the orange juice is completely ripped off of its natural flavor. So, guess what? The manufacturers reflavor the juice by adding flavor packs. Every manufacturer has its own secret recipe of the flavor pack. Ever wondered why your favorite glass of orange juice always tastes the same? It's the flavor packs. Try making orange juice at home every day. It would never taste the same. Some days it would be sweeter, other days more sour. So although your favorite bottle of orange juice says 100% natural, it does contain added flavor packs. These flavor packs are made from orange essence and oils and hence the FDA does not require their listing in the ingredients list. However, the problem with the flavor packs is that the levels of compounds in them is very different from what is naturally found in the orange itself, which makes the flavor packs far from natural. So here are three reasons why you should skip the orange juice and have an orange instead. Number one, nutrients. The process of pasteurization depletes the orange juice of some of its vitamin C and antioxidants. The level of depletion of these nutrients depends on the extent and the duration of the heat treatment. Also the labels on the bottles that mention a certain amount of vitamin C in the juice might not reflect the real values as they do not take into account the production and the storage steps. Number 2 Sugar Levels One cup of orange juice which is about 240 ml contains 3 to 4 medium sized oranges. And the amount of sugar in this one cup of juice is about 25 grams. But you normally would not consume 3 to 4 oranges. You might consume one whole orange which contains only about 6 gram of sugar. So your cup of orange juice contains a lot more sugar than what you would get from consuming an orange. In fact, a cup of orange juice is only minimally better in its sugar levels than a can of coke or soda. I know you might think that the fruit sugar fructose does no harm to the body, but there are reports that have shown the negative effects of overconsumption of fructose as well. So it's good to be moderate with fructose too. Number 3 Fiber When you consume an orange on its own, you get the fiber along with the sugar in the fruit. The fiber slows down the absorption of the sugar and prevents any sudden spikes in the blood sugar levels. However, the orange juice is completely devoid of fiber and therefore, on consumption, it causes an instant rise in the blood sugar levels. It is generally believed that the consumption of fruits in the raw and natural form is better than the bottled juices. The intent of this video is not to prevent you from consuming orange juice. But if you are consuming it under the impression that the orange juice is a very healthy product, you are probably being misled. So it's good to show some moderation with the orange juice or even better, make your own orange juice at home. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you guys liked it. Please like, subscribe and share and keep watching.